question five, part A, solve the equation two log to the base three of five minus log to the base three of two plus log to the base three of x equals two for x. So you've got to figure out what x is equal to. So, and this is all just using your log laws. So the first thing that I've done here is to put this two inside here and it becomes log to the base three of five squared and then minus the rest of it minus log three of two plus log three of x equals two. And then in the next step, I've added these two together. So the log law is it becomes the single log of five squared times x. So five squared is 25, and then that becomes log to the base three of 25 times x minus this term here, and that's still equal to two. And now I'm subtracting two logs with the same base. So the rule is you divide those two things so it becomes log to the base 3 of 25x divided by 2 and that's equal to 2 and then from here you need to make a power statement or you can make a power statement 3 to the power 2 equals this expression here which I've done here 3 squared equals 9 and I've times it by this 2 and that's equal to 25x and then 9 twos are 18, and then divided by 25, and then that equals x. So that's how you solve that log equation, and it's all using the log laws. Biggest mistake students make is they don't know what to do, and they don't try one of the laws. So that's all you have to do for this one. Part B, solve the equation 3 to the minus 4x equals 9 to the 6 minus x for x. So what you really need to do is make this 9 3 to some power and it's 3 squared so this stays the same and then that 9 becomes 3 squared to the same power then in the next step what you do with these two powers when you have something raised to a power then to another power you multiply the powers as of and so you keep that base and then multiply the powers as I've done here and then now because the bases are the same number the powers must be equal to each other. So minus 4x equals 2 bracket 6 minus x. And then from here, just ex expanding brackets. So that becomes 12 minus 2x. Then moving this to that side becomes plus 2x. And then that equals, all of that equals minus 2x, which equals 12. And then dividing 12 by minus 2, you end up with x equals minus 6. So that's how you do those two questions, just using your log and index laws.